Hello and welcome to Anthony's TV. My name is Jack and today I'm joined by the lovely... Remy from Roland. <laughs> Remy, I intentionally put my hands over my ears and didn't want to listen to anything. I have no idea what this is okay. or why it's here or even why you're here. So <laughs> tell me why. Um, so we recently announced our HP 700 series. Um, which will be replacing our HP 600 series. So I thought we'd just bring this bad boy in and talk about the 704. 704? Yes, this is a 704. 704. Mm -hmm. Where does it sit in uh, the Roland range. Universe? Um, so in the HP series, we've got two models. So the 702, 704. So this is the top end HP. Mm -hmm. And then you go into like the LX range after that. Lovely. Which you've got all in your shop. Come on, hit me with some specs. What's new about this bad boy? What's new? So we've got a newly designed cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot taller. So with our new LX range, we really increase the height of the pianos just so they have more presence in the home. So they're more similar to an acoustic. Um, and that's what we've really done with the 603 as well. So the 60... 603? 603 was the one before. <laughs> 704. 603 six oh three has been heightened to be the 704. Um, you've got four speakers which gives it like a really nice in-depth sound. Yeah. So when you've only got two speakers, as you know, the sound's very like 2D, which mm. is not what you normally get from an acoustic. So you shouldn't get from a digital. So we've got four speakers in there, um, which basically support our acoustic projection system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have a little, is there something to say about acoustic projection? Yeah, so um, in our kind of higher end models, so like the LX range, for example, the LX708 has eight speakers which sounds like a lot, but it's more for the depth of the sound. So you've got like two underneath the keys for the hammer noises. Oh, yeah, they're actually they're, so there. Like they're underneath. Cool. Not on this one, but on the 708. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like all of the sound coming from the top, sound coming from underneath and sound coming from the top. So that's what the flagship offers. So we've wanted to put like a little bit of that technology into the 704 so nice. that you get more of a surround sort of sound, 3D sound experience when you're playing. Yeah. Which is what you get, obviously, in an acoustic. Um, you've got... PHA 50 key action, which is the wooden keys. What else? With, and their ivory was, feel. What else can you get this action on? So if someone's played one in the shop, because um, it's brand new. Yeah, so LX 705. Cool. Um, FP 90. Good, yeah. That's most of the ones that have it at the moment. Um, and when, when will people be able to try this out? So these have landed now. Cool. So... Whenever. Whenever. That's go, great. Go so hopefully you store. don't have to run to the shop and try an FP90 to get that feel. No, I mean, but you can do. Yeah, um, do it's it. got the same sound engine as well. Um, but for the action mainly, yeah, just try and it. A, a lot of the comments recently have been about me being crap. Secondly, also about maybe talking more about the feel of the action. What oh, is okay. behind it? Okay. Because I don't know how to put it into words. That's fine. You just know that it feels nice. Yeah. And, that's... and I normally stop at that level, yeah. but maybe you could go a little <laughs> that's bit deeper. Fine. Uh, okay, so the keys are a little bit longer than, say, the HP 702, because that's got the PHA 4 action. Mm -hmm. uh, so the PHA 4 action is ivory feel, individually weighted, escapement, but they're plastic keys. So the 704 has the wooden keys mm -hmm. and also the keys go further back into the piano as well. Right. So what that means um, is that you can play more into the keys, like towards up here, and get a lot more control. Whereas with like some of the plastic key actions, you kind of, you don't have much yes. leeway kind of towards the top end of the key. I'm with you. Which is really good if you're, if you're just starting and you're kind of just here, it, you're not really going to feel a massive difference. It would just be more when you kind of advance as a player and you're kind of playing more into the keys. You get way more control. Uh, you can play for longer periods of time as well. It's just down to the length of the keys, purely that. Lovely. Uh, escapement as well, which is like an acoustic mechanism, which I think we've spoken about before. Yeah, it, I thought it was a small island off the coast of Malta. <laughs> that's, yeah, escapism, I guess. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you've got like a little notch about halfway down. And that's, so if you press a key. Like Wait, a little it's nubbin. Yeah, I like that little nubbin. Like a little nubbin. Yeah. So that's an acoustic mechanism, um, which just basically means like in an acoustic piano, you don't have, the key doesn't need to come all the way back up to trigger a sound. You demonstrate, I don't know if that came across on the camera, but I thought you demonstrated very well. So if you went into a shop to feel it, you'd probably, for that first bit you said about the pivot point of the yeah. keys. 
it really is super easy to press. Like I could play a full chord right up by the felts. Mm -hmm. um, and some people do. I just. I just and also, really if cool. you're playing like if you're playing like a D flat chord, you're already towards the top. Yes. Because you have to be. So it's, and it's then beneficial to, to everyone. feel the escape. Escapement. Then just go really soft down and you'll feel that and then try re-trigger the key yeah. down the bottom. And I mean you don't really want to feel the escapement because that's you're not gonna trigger any sounds. Uh, but it's just kind of I guess reassurance that it's we've really focused on the feel so that it feels as much like an acoustic as possible. There we go. That's for all the people out there who want to know more about the feel of it. Um, <laughs> I've done Jack's job for him. Yeah, thanks. Very much. <laughs> Someone has to. Sound wise, so we actions Pimp, cabinet, and it looks great. This yeah. black looks good. I always think Roland have been searching for a good black that isn't polished ebony. Okay. Because a lot of people, I know you want polished ebony, but when you tell them the price, they go, oh. And they're, and they're, they're, they're searching <laughs> and for And the dust. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the dust. Oh, it's just a nightmare. But this looks good. Yeah, so this it, is a charcoal black finish, so it's... I dig it. Yeah, it's a bit more kind of... Let's do it. It is a bit of fun. I do think that you have to talk, and when I used to sell these things, Invariably, it came down to a bit of furniture. Oh, yeah. So, are there any other furniture bits in here? Like, this lid is beautiful how it covers up the screen. Yeah, so you've got kind of a half close, which most of our pianos have now. Um, and it just means that ultimately, when you kind of get rid of all the digital stuff, mm -hmm. it just looks more acoustic, which people like. You could play this for years and never see a screen. Yeah. Unless you set up the piano the way Yeah, you're... definitely. Uh, brass nipples. For your music. Brass pedals. And that's one and of the things the you pay press. the difference for, because as you go through the models, all these little bits change in yeah, home pianos. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Like, there's, some of them have it. Well, because it don't. takes up a bit of your house. Yes. I think that's a really valid um, reason to buy one of these pianos. Yeah. And I think that I can see that this looks, to me, it, it's, it uh, looks cooler. Yeah, it definitely looks better than yeah the six oh three. Yeah, because it's shorter. Maybe not cooler, but more um, <laughs> like a a piano a, a organic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything, yes. Just a bit of wood with some keys, dope. Um, that my official review. <laughs> in here, brain wise, is there a different brain in here? There isn't a different brain. Um, it's part of our Supernatural modelled engine, mm -hmm. which is a really... Established, everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. It's a really kind of innovative um, engine, I would say, mm -hmm. um, because we're kind of, we've really moved away from the whole world of sampling and we're more moving into modelling, which is a lot more expressive, a lot more dynamic. You just get a lot more from the instrument. So, like, for example, I was showing your fine colleague from Malta here. Malta, he's back in the corner. <laughs> Woo! 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 Um, this like piano designer thing, so you get to change like really subtle things about it. So if I close the lid off, yeah, you give us a little play. It's like really closed off, and then open it. <laughs> um, so that's like a really small thing, and then you've got like um, really clear screen, type. really clear screen. This is good. Um, soundboard type as well, so you can actually change what the the wood. That the soundboard is made Ooh, out of. Cool. So that changes like the tonality. So five is really bright if you like a bright sound. Oh, yeah, I can mm. hear that. And then three is nice and mellow. Well demonstrated, Thanks. Remy. And it sounds good. It does sound good. It's not too shabby, is it? I like it. I really don't uh, <laughs> play it or listen to it before we do this video because I want to <laughs> be honest. Someone's got to try be out there. I'll take one for the team. Uh, uh, and connectivity has been a big part of Roland's mm -hmm. advancements in recent years. Yeah. What, how can I connect with the electronic world with this device? I'm presuming I can. Yeah, so you've got all of like your line outs and everything down here. Cool, and that's um, how we're recording it, aren't we? Fal Falcao. Sweet. Okay, um, and then you've got like USBs, headphones and everything down there. Um, but Bluetooth is probably the easiest way because um, you can connect it to like a laptop or an iPad or a phone. Um, and that's iOS and Android. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be Apple. <sighs> piano Partner app, one of my favourite things on your... It's not Piano Partner app. What's it called? Piano Every Day. Oh, right, of course. It, <laughs> was it called the Piano Partner app? Um, the last one was, yeah. But we've oh, got it's a, a new we've one. We've got a new app. Oh, can we see this app? You can. Da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
Ba. Ba. Oh, it oh, different colour do. scheme, definitely. Different colour scheme, different layout, um, different things to offer. Isn't it funny thinking of the guy that makes that? What, the, the in apps? In your corporate structure, like just the guy that chooses the colours. I know, I wonder who that. that is. I genuinely don't <laughs> know who that is. Great job, though, the person oh, who did a, that. Sorry, mate. I, thank you, though. Someone had to do it. <laughs> um, so, I don't know how to... Uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll there be... you go. Cool. Um, Can we have some like background music, like uh, game show music, when we do this? Cool, thanks. Three, four. Um, so you've got this month's summary, <laughs> which is basically showing you a breakdown of your month, your mm -hmm. week, and your days. So you see how many times you've practiced this month, mm -hmm. and for a grand total of how long, for, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, your weekly breakdown, so how long you've played for in the week, and it gives you like a sort of, I guess, a loaded circle. Yes. If you've only completed like half of your target, it'll only be surprised. This actually looks way. really good. It is cool. I like that. Sorry that you have to say bye to your piano partner, but we've replaced oh. it with something better, so it's fine. Um, and then it shows you what you did in the days. Um, sheet music, obviously, that's all still in there. Yeah. Um, one thing that we've added in is something called One Week Master. So if you, Jack, wanted to learn Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but I'd have to be able to read music. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Rule 101. I know. <laughs> um, but it breaks it down for you. So if you are kind of at the beginning of your learning journey, um, it breaks it down into days. So you have a few steps for the day. Oh, that's cool. And it's really about teaching you to learn like one hand at a time. Because that's, I mean, I find that the best way well, to learn a piece. And teachers teach that way. Yeah. It's a really great... But so many people don't know that. So many people try and just sit down and play it straight away. Yeah. You kind of do that, but you kind of get away with it. But not everyone can. I'm just playing chords. <laughs> and then, like, an octave in your Yeah, exactly, done. It's fine. Same thing every time. <laughs> um, you've got scales and hannons and everything in there as well, so all of your sheet music's still in there. Um, but something new and fresh... You're doing really well, by the way, sorry. Thanks. So are you. Um, ..is your store, so you can actually search for sheet music oh. on Sheet Music Direct. Cool. So you have access to over 70,000 songs on here. And that's from anyone. Could be James Arthur, could be Little Mix, could be Coldplay, could be anyone. <laughs> a big pop gangbang. A big... <laughs> um, the... <laughs> but it's really handy uh, because so often, this my extent of sheet music is often ultimateguitar.com and I go on there and I get the chords and I go, that's enough. But some things... <laughs> that's enough for that. Sometimes I've really sat there and I've counted every... You know, um, cows eat good grass, all that stuff. I need to go through that state. I'm so bad with sheet music. I know. It's so bad. It's embarrassing. Yeah, so this is what it gives you. It gives you the chords as well. Yeah, exactly. So you'll be fine. Um, but I had I had a separate app. Anyway, it's such a boring story. I had a separate app for sheet music. Well, now direct. you're just going to have to buy a piano to get this this app. That's cool. 702. 702. Or 704. 704. like this one. Or, you know, an LX708, why not? Um, you've got rhythms as well, so all of your rhythms are in here. Um, you can play along to, like, backing. Can I, will it, will it, it, are we hooked do up? Do you want to choose one? Yeah, please, You can please, please. choose from the list, then. Oh, I'm not going to choose one. Yeah, and yeah. then, um, I don't know how loud it's going to be. Just hit Put me, hit me with it. Um, Start. And then play a chord. Go on. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> it's a bit Afro man, isn't it? It's quite cool, isn't it? <laughs> see, I can see you having a lot of fun with that. Hang just on, let's saying. do another one. I'm not oh, stopping there. Come on, have we got to offer it out to... You've got to oh, give, can you give some options to um, the I guess fact? choose a number between 1 and 21. I think it's 21. Let's go 17. 17. And I'll roll with whatever... I'm hit with. Chaz Waltz oh, too. <laughs> Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, okay. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> You're really pushing Jack out of his comfort zone. Ah. 
I had a G sus off the bat. I had to go for something crazy. <laughs> In the C major seven <laughs> three. <laughs> Um, I could do that all day. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm not very good at it. Like I literally just play a, play a chord. No, but you're then... great. We're gonna see, and there will be. Uh, hopefully, I should have said this right at the beginning, but there'll be a playing only <laughs> version of this. That's cool. The apps popping off. Flashcards, which you part partook in last time. Oh. Mm. It's like their little games, aren't they? No, educational games. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good for people, like for me, when I was doing my grades, um, I, like my ear is really bad. Like when I hear a note, you saw earlier, when I hear a note, I cannot, I cannot pick it up at all. Yeah. So it kind of just, it really helps you train your ear. So it gives you a C mm. and then you've got to play whatever it plays back. And then... You do it well. I like it. See, I'm really bad, but... Um, no, it's so hard. It's, um... It is, it is really difficult. It's not, loads of people are lying as well. Just out there, you want the truth? People when they go, yeah, I've got a perfect pitch. They're liars. Like it's like <laughs> one in millions. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I've only bumped into one dude. The rest of it is. Yeah, I've met, like my old music teacher was pitch perfect. Mm. And it's like when we used and to it's transpose. Like a curse. It's like a curse. Yeah, he didn't like it. Yeah, because everything is wrong to them. Mm -hmm. Bit dead early. Anyway. It's a blessing. A little and a anecdote curse. for you. And also, uh, one of the oldest buildings in the world is in Malta. <laughs> <laughs> if not the oldest. We found that out today. Uh, what else? Uh, what? You got, wait, you've got remote control as well, so you can control everything through here. Yeah. So you could actually just keep this lid down. You don't have to, you don't have to use it. You're tuning. So if well, you are, we, if we you tune do to 442. Four, I saw that. Why? Don't like it or? I don't know. If you don't like it, you can change it. Oh, should we do, you do, do 440? We... Oh, yeah, or oh, crazy me. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy me with 440. Oh, I just invented it. Oh, maybe the whole Western world will adopt it. Does that sound better to you? Can you actually hear a difference? Right, let's do it. 440. 442. It's a little sweeter. Yeah, that's it. That's all I would say. What's sweeter? It's... Did you not feel it was just a little... 442 or 440? 442. I genuinely can't hear a difference. No, but it's interesting that that must be a piano thing. Yeah. Because in a band, that would only go down a road of hurt. If you got into a band... <laughs> oh, and it was 442. <laughs> yeah, like, you just never feel so... <laughs> I think I maybe Rolling should warn people. <gasps> dun, dun, well, dun. Warning. <laughs> you heard it here first, that's your warning. Rolling, this is how you've been selling so many pianos. You <laughs> tune it different. It's sweet. Yeah. Um, and then you've got... The guys at Casio are like... <laughs> right, that's B -C, C, 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 B, C, C. So many emails are sent. Um, <laughs> and then you've got your different um, sounds and stuff. The epic string. Cool, cool. Should we go on a little pianos. sound safari? Uh, go on then. This is our new section called Sound Safari. <laughs> We've just invented it right Sound now. Safari, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you... Um, electric piano? I'll I tell you what, how about you guys choose and then just prod me when you're ready and then I'm just going to go in so I don't even know what it is. Uh, tell me when to stop. Oh, that was my... Go on. Mama, mama, You've got to be really like heartfelt now. Oh, okay. oh wait, 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 wait. 
I'll wait forever and a day for you, Remy. <laughs> Do you hear? I did hear you. Compared I chose to ignore it. For you on camera. Okay, go on. I'm gonna cry. You'd think that I'd have emotions, wouldn't you? But I don't. <laughs> I'm just a human puddle. Just dead inside. Just a shallow a little bag of flesh walking around. <laughs> <laughs> walking around Guildford. Walking around Guildford. Twin piano. Twin. <sighs> oh. Coming into my territory. Oh, here. sorry, sorry, sorry. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, now back to normal. Uh, metronome as well. Yeah, let's hear it. You want to hear the metronome? Yeah, come on. We're paying all this money. <laughs> you can choose your metronome. Funny enough, let's talk about it. The metronome? No, the money. Oh. Because of uh, the political you. turmoil that we are living under, mm. maybe you don't want to declare prices. What is the... Like, can you declare a price or just vaguely where it sits in the world? Um, RRP is 1759, mm -hmm. I think. What's it going to be on the street, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anderson's choice. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, lovely. Um, well, hopefully Lee's feeling good today. He puts a nice price up there for you guys. Check in the description anyway. But that sounds really Yeah, I'm, sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's what's And maybe I'll, I will conclude because we're going to have more a separate video, like I said, with playing in and... Um, all that business. But what we had there was five to ten minutes, it feels like, of fun sat at a bit of furniture. Yeah. Which I think is the whole cool concept behind Roland pianos and even the split piano thing when you had it, two headphone outputs. Yeah. It's very, it's, a, it's what, it's the evolution of what pianos used to do where people get round a piano in the home. Mm. And with a short attention span, I think, with young people and old people, these things to flitter around kept us there for 10 minutes. Yeah. And I do Sorry think as well... Indeed, but... I do think people get too caught up as well in, like, how many sounds there are and the Bluetooth and everything, which is, is great. The Bluetooth's a brilliant kind of offering. But at the end of the day, like you say, it's just something to have in your home that you're going to mm. walk past every day and enjoy walking past and also enjoy playing. And a good sound so, system as well. That's what I mean. And that's, Bluetooth. that's what it all comes down to. If it wasn't for strict copyright laws, we would demonstrate that. But what we could demonstrate is, hopefully, how fabulous you are at playing piano. I'm going to bugger off. Would you do us the honour of playing us out? I think we should do it the other way around this time. What, I play you out? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel getting put on the spot? Uh, absolutely fine about it. <laughs> I've just got to think of what song I'm going to play you out with. OK. Well, I need to... <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know a song. I can't. Um, actually... Shall I leave? Yeah, thank you, Remy. I can't unplug the mic. It's all right. Uh, I'll play you some really soothing music. OK, uh, if you like what we did, thank you, Remy. Check out the videos that Remy will be playing in those ones. I'm going to force you to do it. And uh, if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe. If you don't, let us know. We'll try to change. This one is for Remy walking out of the room. <laughs>